the very special spectacles. One day Gingerbread was on her way to Dream Castle with a basket of spiced gingerbread buns which she had made for the baby ponies as a special treat. Can I try one? begged Applejack as Gingerbread passed by the orchard. Pony feathers, yes! I've made you a special one with spice and apples, laughed Gingerbread. But you must wait until lunchtime. Happy hooves, it's almost lunchtime now, cried Applejack. I'll go with you to Dream Castle. Majesty doesn't like us to be late. Oh, here comes Greybeard the Goblin. Have you noticed how cross he gets these days? Yes, perhaps he'll feel better if I give him one of my gingerbread buns, replied Gingerbread. Here, Greybeard, try one of my buns. I'm sure you'll like them. No thanks, they look stale to me, retorted the Goblin. That's probably why you're trying to give them away. How rude! They're not stale. I only baked them this morning, said Gingerbread indignantly. I'm sure Majesty and the baby ponies will love them, and I shall tell Majesty what you said. But Greybeard had already gone on his way, and so Applejack and Gingerbread went off to Dream Castle. Fancy saying these are stale, cried Gusty as she munched away happily at a bun. They're quite the most delicious buns that I have ever tasted. Greybeard really is a cross old goblin. Do you know what he said when I offered to sweep away the leaves from his door? He said that if I hadn't blown them away in the first place, I would not need to sweep them away now. But you didn't blow the leaves from the trees, protested Bowtie. It was the west wind having a game with the clouds. I saw them. Greybeard saw them too. At least I think he did, cried Gusty. But his spectacles look so cloudy and grey these days that I'm sure he doesn't see anything very clearly now. He seems to just see nasty things, agreed all the little ponies. I offered him a feather for his hat, and he said it was dull, cried Tickle. But it was lovely. The kingfisher had given it to me as a special gift. I showed him some of my new ice cream, cherries and cream with chocolate sauce, added Lickety Split. He said it looked like an old grey cloud. Did he indeed? said Majesty thoughtfully. I think I know what's wrong. She twirled her magic horn and sang softly, Spectacles grey, change in a wink, Make all you see a rosy pink, Greybeard shall see you in a trice, Everything shall be sweet and nice. Pony feathers, here comes Greybeard now, and he's actually smiling, exclaimed Applejack. Good morning, little ponies. What a lovely day, beamed Greybeard. I've come to try one of your buns, Gingerbread. But you said, began Gingerbread, and then she stopped. Greybeard was wearing a lovely new pair of spectacles with pink rims and tinted pink glass. Here you are, she said, smiling at Majesty as she handed a bun to the goblin. I hope you like it. Oh, it melts in my mouth like a dream, said Greybeard. And how smart you are all looking. What a pretty ribbon in your tail, Bowtie. And I must thank you for this lovely feather tickle. I shall wear it in my best hat. It was kind of you, Gusty, to sweep up my leaves. Will you all come to tea tomorrow? Shall I bring some ice cream? asked Lickety Split. Yes, please. Strawberry pink with marshmallow topping. Pink ones, of course, replied Greybeard. I'll be off now. How pretty everything looks today. And every day from now on, said Majesty as they watched Greybeard skipping happily down the pathway. All Greybeard needed was a pair of new spectacles, magic ones which would show him everything in a lovely pink hue. Wasn't it clever of Majesty to guess what was wrong with Greybeard? <laughs> <laughs>